What's up everybody? Welcome to Project Next Generation Online. My name is Aaron Sievers. I am the technology librarian here at the Elmwood Park Public Library. And today we are going to pick up right where we left off from last time uh, with our Kano Coding Kit unboxing series here. It has now turned into, we couldn't get through all of them last time. So we've got a couple more to open up and check out that we're gonna do this time. Uh, this time, first up, I think we are going to do the Harry Potter uh, Magic Wand Coding Kit. So we're going to get right into that. Let's go ahead and open it up for the, oh, that's high OBS. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of OBS. Uh, let me switch profiles here. So here we go. Let's go webcam and overhead. Actually, let's do these two. So let's go ahead and uh, let's cut this thing open. Let's get in here. Uh, we'll see just what is inside. Whoops. The so I like this because uh, you know it's a wand. Obviously, the ones that we did last time are uh, were magic. Um, magic. They were sensors that you could uh, hold your hand over. Uh, but this is a little bit different, so that is cool. That should make for a fun, uh, different activity. So, oops, dropped the scissors. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. We'll see what's going on. So let's switch over to the overhead camera. Harry Potter. Um, Okay, we've cut all the tape. There is no more tape to be cut, so let's see what is going on in here. We've got the, uh, we've got a manual here. And we have, uh, let's see, let's, well, uh, let's get to the main event. Nobody wants to see the manual, they want to see the wand, right? So under this magic fabric here, we have, the wand da, 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 da. Uh, that is uh, missing a battery compartment and um, and some other stuff so we will definitely be getting into that um, we'll assemble it here in just a second but I bet you these uh, I bet you these instructions will tell us how to assemble it so let's check that out um, let's see this is your coding wand. It's made of plastic, rubber, copper, and electronics. So we've got uh, kind of a layout of how all that stuff works. And we'll put it all together here in just a second. Let's build your coding wand. So, uh, all right, let's check it out and follow the instructions. So basically all the action for the wand happens right here so this is kind of um, everything that you need so we've got the power controller right here and oh, wait hang on <laughs> oh, stay stay up I'm trying to do something funny stay oh forget it all right we'll put it right here so we've got the power controller we've got the Bluetooth light which is right next to it we've got the uh, microcontroller uh, what does that say? Codable vibration motor. We've got a Bluetooth antenna. We've got sensors, a power button, and a codable light. So that's cool. Uh, on the back is a space for batteries. So we can put some batteries in this thing to make it go. So that's cool. So let's, let's go ahead and just do that. Um, we're going to take this little piece of plastic off. We're going to pop some batteries in here. Remember last time we talked about... Uh, well, that's a lot of batteries. Did they give you a spare pair? All right. Get that open up. Okay. So, we talked last time about how batteries have polarity, positive and negative. So we're going to follow that. Make sure we put these batteries in here correctly. And we get some lights at the end, so we know we did it right. I'm gonna just hold the power button down, turn that thing off while we are uh, assembling the rest of it. So the other thing that we need to worry about here is there's a power button that actually goes and covers up the, uh, actually covers up the other part. Where is that? No. Oh. Well, that's our, that's our Kano laptop. Here's what I'm looking for. So, this kind of covers up the power button. It's a very small piece. I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and slot it in 
to the handle of the magic wand. There's just kind of a little, little rubber piece that it fits on. And then this slots kind of face down in here like that. And then we have a little door that goes on over top. Maybe, maybe. There we go. And if you want to be safety conscious, you can put the uh, the little lanyard on. But um, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna live dangerously. All right. So we have a fully assembled wand. I appreciate um, appreciate the instructions, but uh, we got it. We got it figured out. I do appreciate also that they gave us an extra set of batteries. That's nice. It's very nice. All right, inside the little black square are three sensors, a gyroscope that senses gravity, an accelerometer that knows your speed, and a magnetometer that calculates, to calculate the coding wand's directions. So it's basically, uh, the magnetometer is basically a compass. So that's cool. That means that your coding wand knows if you're moving it up, down, forwards, backwards, left, right, fast, or slow. Six degrees of freedom. Yes, all right, we are basically flipping through. We have already done all this. Pick up your wand. With it, you'll do great things. When you wave your coding wand, the sensors turn your movement into data and the PCB beams that data to your computer. So I'll turn it on, although I don't think it's going to do much. Uh, hello? <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. All right, that's the la that is the one and only time I'm gonna make that joke, I promise. We are done. All right. All right, so this is kind of getting into something coding exercises we're going to do. Uh, so I guess now we just need to kind of get into it. Should we check out and see what other, what other kind of stuff came in the box? Because this is... Um, yeah, that's done. What's in here? Oh man, it wouldn't be Kano if it didn't have stickers. Right? What do we got? Oh, we got the, the night bus. We've got a uh, snitch, we've got a goblet, quibbler, starting to test the limits of my, I think these are all jelly beans, which is funny because I was going to joke and say that they were jelly beans, but then I realized there actually are jelly beans <laughs> in Harry Potter. We got some frogs, chocolate frog, a snake, Slytherin, you know, some kind of alien. <laughs> There's aliens in, in Harry Potter, right? Uh, a cauldron, a pumpkin, some polyjuice potion, a troll, Aragog the spider, uh, some stuff that I feel like I should know what they're called, but I can't remember. Ooh, is this a poster? This looks like a poster. Oh, these are magic spells. So you got your basics, your stupefies, your Wingardium Leviosas. I, up until right now, did not realize that... Uh, Wingardium had an M at the end. I thought it had an N, as in Nancy. So we're learning here. Reducio, Flipendo, I've never heard of that one. Expelliarmus, Incendio, Lumos, Aguamente. Uh, well, that's neat. And then we just have some other kind of additional information. So what do you say we try to get started with this thing? We have uh, over here on the PNG Kano PC laptop, which you can check out with your library card, uh, which also I don't know if I said, but uh, it uh, goes without saying, but I'm going to say it, is that when, you, um, when I'm all done with this, I'm going to take this downstairs to be uh, put into our catalog, and you'll be able, you will be able to check it out with your library card. And then you can take it home and you can do all this stuff uh, on your own. You can also check out a Kano PC laptop so that you can do all the computer stuff if you don't have a computer at home. So 
you should, I'm sorry. You should look forward to that. All right. Um, okay, so let's get started with the Kano um, Harry Potter coding app, I think it's called. Um, which I just opened the other... Ah, here we go. All right, cool. So using the coding wand uses Bluetooth, make sure your device is turned on. So I'm going to basically hammer on that power button, trying to get it to turn on. Oh, I see activity. All right, cool. So with the power light on, I'm gonna hit next on the screen. And we gotta get the wand to pair with the, um, with the laptop. So I see a blinking blue light, uh, like down here at the at the bottom, but uh, we're having a little bit of trouble. Oh, I just felt it vibrate. We are in business. That's the vibration is pretty cool. That felt uh, magical, shall we say? So let's go to Diagon Alley. I'm pretty sure I just clicked that. Click it again. Sometimes it takes a second. But it seems to be connected. Come on. Okay. All right. Look at that. We are um, we're at Diagon Alley, apparently. Um, oh, okay. So I see some challenges. So let's go. What's this? Learn how your coding wand works. Perfect. I would like to learn how my coding wand works. So that's convenient. That works out for everybody. Let's start by centering your coding wand. Point it at the middle of the screen and press its button. All right. Done. Hey, look at that. Okay, uh, you can't see. All right, let me adjust the action camera here so that you can see. This is probably going to be an obscured view. Yeah, you're, you're seeing a lot of cables and whatnot that I've got laying around. But here we go. Let's do, 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 do. Yeah, so if I wave the wand. So I have to wave the wand at the screen. Oh, I got kind of discom... There we go. So you can recenter it on the screen by um, pressing the button. So point, point right at the middle of the screen, press the button again, and then you're good. Um, let's see if we can't get a better, there we go. Cool, so it can make some circles and do some stuff and make some shapes and stuff. And give it a wave, all right, cool. Let's go next. Knock objects off the shelf. You don't have to ask me twice. Hiya, hiya. All right, yeah. Get all right. Let's recenter. Yeah, get going. Get going. Nice. Nailed it. All right. Continuing on. Let's go to Hogwarts. Okay, just like all the other ones. Uh, Twinkling Segway Six. That's my username that was automatically generated that I didn't ask for. Um, so in the previous ones that we made, we uh, made an avatar. Sorry, I'm <laughs> pointing the wand at the screen. Just like, I'm sorry, what were we talking about? Uh, we made an avatar, so I wonder if we'll be making our own avatar this time around. Um, but hang on, I'm getting trophies and rewards and stuff. Here we go. Mystery avatar accessory. I believe that is a scarf. Uh, yep. All right. Cause this, oh, this doesn't set flat, huh? There we go. Um, I like, um, I always, I think I would have been a Ravenclaw. Oh, I can't actually choose one, huh? Okay. Well, and then I just outed myself as to which house. Ah, ah, I didn't mean to say that on stream. Okay. Um, all right, hang on. Let's get rid of this. And then let's go to Ravenclaw. No, <gasps> let's go to Hogwarts. All right, experiment with color, the Owlry. Okay. What's it gonna be? Ah, block coding, we know this. We know this from our hour of code time. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Read the instructions up here and drag the blocks and connect them to create code. The yellow beacon shows you the next step. Yeah, so this is very similar to the Star Wars and the Frozen one that we did last time. 
So uh, first thing we need to do is we need to drag over this. Uh, uh, you know what? I brought a mouse. So let's use the mouse. Let's get this out of the way. Let's clean up, clean up our place area here. Grab the mouse. Uh, let's get back over here. Okay. So let's pull in this uh, code block here. And uh, what are we doing? Now we're just going to grab this one and nest it in there. So um, wave your coding wand upward and quickly. All right. You ready for this? Hold on. What's the best? I'm trying to find a good angle. Okay. Upward and quickly. Yeah. Okay. That owl. Hang on. You can't see. Uh, that owl just turned red. What do we have like HDMI. Do, do, here we go. Yeah. So the owl just turned bright red, and I don't know why. But you can see, um, you can see right. <laughs> if I, if I, you can see right below here uh, where it says wand position on the screen. Um, as I move the wand, that those numbers change. So if I just put the wand down, uh, those numbers should go still. You know, they might move a little bit as the wand is kind of moving, or if I shake the table, uh, they're going to move a little bit. But otherwise they pretty much correspond with wand movements. So um, I believe I have done what they have asked me to do. So let's click next. All right, why not try changing the, oh, that was the whole challenge. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that part. Try changing the owl to a different color. So now uh, we'll change the owl to be like, uh, well, let's see, yeah, I, okay. That was, part was covered up. All right, so let's change that owl to be blue. So then when I go flip, nope, yeah, it changed blue. It took a second. Yellow, whoop, nice, cool. All right, I'm basically a pro at that. So um, anybody who wants their house painted, just <laughs> grab my wand and I'll take care of it. All right, um, what's next? What is next? Continue. Uh, I didn't pay attention to what time we started, so hopefully this doesn't go. Oh, I got a clock right there. Okay, cool. We're doing fine. Changing colors, got an award. Give me a mystery avatar accessory. This is like a loot box. I don't know if I approve of that. Okay, cool. All right, let's go to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Um, what are we doing? Change the color of a potion. Okay, that's pretty similar to what we just did a second ago. All right, so let's change the color of this cauldron. Let's check out the cauldron over here, see? Let's change the color of this cauldron and make it jump. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so what's the first thing we need to do? We need to grab this nested block of code. So basically it's saying when the wand moves up, it's going to do what? Um, and then what it's going to do is it's going to change the tint of the object to what color do we want it to be? I would like it to be uh, like bright red. Um, okay. Oh, a random color. Oh, okay. I didn't know we could do that. Okay. Yeah. Random color. Wave your coding wand upwards and watch the cauldron change to a random color while the wand moves upward. All right. So I'm going to point the wand back at the screen. Um, I'm gonna press the button to recenter it, and then I'm gonna flick it up, whoop, and change randomly to green, whoop, randomly to yellow, whoop, orange, purple, teal. <laughs> I'm bad with colors. Dark blue, sure, why not? Uh, all right. Now what? What is next? What are we doing next? Now, make the cauldron jump while the coding move, move, <laughs> the coding wand moves the, hey, okay, that's a double the, okay? The, the, apply force block, okay? Oh, I see, okay. The name of the block is the apply force block. All right, so we're going to stick that in there. Uh, change the strength from zero to 500. So strength is right here. I'm going to change that to 500, zero, zero. Wave your coding wand upwards again and watch the cauldron change and jump. All right, you guys ready for this? Oops, hang on. Switch over to here. 
Coding wand. Ready. And flick up. Woo! Hey, nice. So can we just keep it, like, bouncing? Yeah, we can. Never touch the ground. Never touch the ground. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. This would make for, like, an okay drumstick, also. Doesn't work side to side. Only up and down. Really, only up. It doesn't do anything. So, that's fun. <laughs> All right. What's next? <laughs> what are we doing? Do I get any awards for that? Come on. You guys have been handing out awards for everything else. I would like an award. Um, okay. I actually don't know where to go next. Can we zoom out on this map? This is a very large map. Look at all these. All these other locations are locked. So you have to unlock them all. That's a lot. Uh, and this is just one section of Hogwarts. So like, okay, so I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna click right here to go back. Oh, wow. So I think all of these are like different sections. So I was just there. You can go to Hagrid's hut. You can go to Stone Circle, Hogsmeade. Dude, that's so much. The Quidditch pitch. All right, we're going to the train next. Pygmy Pops. All right. This is a lot. This is, there's a lot to do here. I just wanted to... <laughs> okay, uh, what's my picture covering up here? Oh, okay, so we've got these uh, Pygmy Puffs. Use your coding wand to give Pygmy Puffs a variety of different colors. We're doing a lot of color work here. Um, at any point, are we going to uh, cast, like, a cool spell? <laughs> no offense, but, like, come on. All right. So we're going to repeat. When the wand moves up, repeat 10 times. Object tent. Tint. Not tent. Tint. Object. Uh, random. Uh, and then, yeah, let's throw in a random color. So I guess whenever I flick the wand up, a random pygmy puff is going to change to be a random color. If I'm understanding this right. So let's try this. Recenter. All right, so keep your eye on the pygmy puffs there. Woo! Hey, that's kind of fun. They're all just like switching to something different. So also, um, it should be um, should be shown here that like I so right now it's set to move the one up, but you can change this to left, right, or down. So if I switch this to down and then I flick it down, then it does the same thing. And then it's like I'm playing the drums or the cowbell. Um, also same with like um, left and right. So if we go left, then if I, f so left is gonna be <laughs> that way for, for you. So if I flick it to the left, then it changes. But if I flick it to the right, not as much. Get a little back, yeah, left, left, left. So that's interesting. Is there a way to do Oh wow. Okay, so now then you can like put in movements and stuff. Let's see what this is all about. And this is not part of the initial lesson, but I'm just just experimenting here. Let's get rid of that. So what's this? Oh, these are the the actual spells with like the more complex movements. So what if we did um, let's try Accio. So Accio, I believe starts in the middle and then goes out. So I think I gotta finish that. Okay, so we'll try it. Nope, that doesn't do anything. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's move on to the next challenge. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm still level one. What do we get? Mystery avatar loot box. A uh, lion head. Okay, I don't know what that's for. I don't know what purpose that serves, but I will collect it. I will put it in my collection. Oh man, it wants us to go to the Forbidden Forest. I I don't want to go to the Forbidden Forest, you guys. Bad stuff happens at the Forbidden Forest. Why would anybody want to go there? I don't. I have no desire to go there. Uh, can we go anywhere else? Let's just take a quick look. 
Oops, accidentally we went to Hogwarts. Um, no, we cannot. Oh wait, no, we can go to the Quidditch pitch. Yes, I would prefer to go to the Quidditch pitch. Uh, summon a broomstick. Okay. Oh, we're gonna learn how to do Accio. I bet. Wait, is there any sound? I haven't been listening. The last one had lots of sound. So I will keep my ear open <laughs> for sound. But uh, we'll see. Spell motions are here. So here we go. So, ah, this is what we were just looking at a second ago. Okay, so open the objects tray. Can do, will do. Oops. Uh, wow, drag the block onto your code space. Okay, so we're gonna create an owl named Owl. Um, and then the co these are the coordinates on the screen in which that's gonna happen, I guess. Change Owl to broomstick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, so the object creation is like summoning it, like Accio. That makes sense. Wow, look at all the stuff you can create. And what is that? An acromantula? Apple core. Oh, because that's what everybody wants. Birdies, birdie bots, beans, a bludger, a book, a broomstick, two different broomsticks. Okay, we're going to go with broomstick one. Butterbeer, chattering teeth. There's so much here. Look at all this. There's so much. A whomping willow. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, broomstick. I'm getting distracted. Broomstick. Okay. Hold the button on your coding wand. Make the act. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong before. Okay. So you got to hold that button down. Uh, hang on. Doo -doo -doo. Let's take a look over here. So you got to hold down the button on the top the whole time you make that move. So you go. Uh, yeah. See? Look at that. Do you see that? Uh, let me get some of this stuff off the screen. We'll do it again. Okay. Boom. Okay. Uh, so what are we doing? I did that. Next. Keep practicing. Press and hold the coding wands button. Perform the Accio spell, then release. Uh... So I see those brooms moving around. I don't know what's supposed to be happening. Oh, I, <laughs> sorry. The, um, so there are now like, underneath my face, there are now like 20 brooms. I wasn't paying attention. So every time I do that, a new one shows up and it's just filling up with brooms, which is kind of hilarious. So many brooms. So, oh, I think we're out. I think we're full. Oh no, we're, we're still going. We're still going. I'm gonna go until I crash the computer. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. All right. That's a lot of brooms. All right, so you can, uh, yeah, you can hit save and you can try uh, other new stuff. So let's go actually take a look back here. Can I clear this out? Um, yeah, I can hit restart, get rid of all those brooms, and then if I wanted to, I could change this from broomstick to, oh, no, I need to go over here. Are you not going to let me? There we go. Ah, no, 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 come back. Drop down. There we go. Let's get a, you want a tuba? I was going to go for a Whomping Willow, but then I saw Tuba, and Tubas are funny, but I'll go for a Whomping Willow. Alright, you ready? Accio Whomping Willow. Okay. Alright, now what happens if we drop a broom on the Whomping Willow? Where... Maybe some chattering teeth. Sure, why not? Oh, it replaced the Whomping Willow. Okay, I've had my fun. All right, next challenge. Look at that. We are almost to level two. We're halfway to level two. Uh, I got an award because I'm the best. Um, and uh, I'm still not going to the Forbidden Forest. Can't make me. So where else can we go? 
I like this music. This is good walking around music. We can go back to Diagon Alley. We can go to Hogsmeade. Where else are we going? I kind of want to go see what's going on down here in Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. Is there anything, oops, is there anything to do down here? Stuff might all still be locked. Might have to come back. Is there anything behind my face? No. There's nothing, there's nothing secretly hanging out behind my face. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Hogsworth. Hogswarts. Let's go back to that Hogsworth and we'll check out that uh, Honey Dukes. We need some some beans. I got a fever <laughs> for more beans. Oh, you don't even get that reference. Okay, summon some birdie bots every flavor beans. Can do. Let's get my face out of there. Um. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna be using Accio. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, drag the block to the code space. We're gonna repeat. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch of beans. Yeah, I don't want 10. I want like 50 beans. Nah, man, 50. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Gotta change owl to Oh, come on, drop down. Birdie bot. Try moving your coding wand up. Now stop. Now stop them from stacking up by using an apply force block. Say what? Okay. Hold up. Whoop, sorry. Click it up. Oh, I think I gotta hit next on this before it will. Yo. What's happening? Oh, are they working? I don't know what's happening. I think I might have broken it. I don't know what's happening, you guys. Okay. Oh, things are happening now. I think there was just a little bit of lag there. Okay, so, um, what? Okay. We need to put this in here. Things are running real slow. A word? We're okay. Uh, object apply force on all? I don't know what that means. And my instructions have instantly become not helpful. Maybe here? No. Here. Birdie bots beans. Dude, I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> I think it's time to maybe start this over. Reset. Reset everything. You're freaking out. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let's just come back over here to uh, hi, and I am going to uh, try to maybe quit this application and start it up again. Cause something went weird. I don't really know exactly what happened. That's okay. It happens. We're just gonna close it and open it again, and uh, see if we can get back into it. And if we can't, then we're gonna be moving on to the next set, which is this. Uh, oh, hang on. Okay. It heard my idle threat, and we're back. <laughs> okay, cool. So, do we wanna go back to Hogsmeade? Try that again? Let's try this again. I'll get off the screen so you can see. Summon some birdie bots every flavor beans. Okay, so we need this block to start with. Okay. And then we need this block. And then what? 
We need to change this. Okay, so I think last time I changed it to like 50. Maybe that threw it off. So we'll change it. We'll follow the rules. We'll change it to five. Otherwise, it's like, hey, that's not what we asked you to do. All right. Beans. I like saying beans. It's a really fun word to say. Try moving your coding wand up. Okay, so that's what we want to do. Oh. I don't know what just happened. Oh, dude, we're making so many beans. Oh, you know, I bet making 50 at a time probably um, probably made this thing go a little bit nuts. Okay, so we need to use uh, apply force. There we go. I'm going to apply some force. Change all to birdie bots beans. You can use a random number to fire them all in different directions and drag this block into your code space. Oh, I like this. I like the possibility of what's happening here. Change 10 to 360. I'm assuming that is, uh, okay, change strength from zero to 50. All right, now let's see what happens. Oh, that's fun. And so they, when you when you do that, they all kind of like woo flip out all over the place. A confetti. Hooray! That's fun. Okay. Next challenge. So uh, this is pretty cool. I am enjoying this one. I like that it's handheld and it's not just a sensor on the table like the other. The other two were cool. The Star Wars one, the Frozen one, those were cool. But uh, this one's a little bit different. And I think that's fun. What are we getting? What's our new loot box? Oh, it's a Ron Weasley sweater. Okay, can we go anywhere other than the Forbidden Forest? Or is that still our only option? Can I like, zoom? I can't zoom out. Yeah, man, that's still our only option. Uh, uh, all right, let's just go. Let's just get it over with. Oh, maybe this will be fun. Maybe, it, or not fun, but I mean, because uh, it's all fun. But maybe it'll be uh, not scary. Create sparks using your coding wand. So we need to start with this one. This block will fizz some particles. Drag it into your code space. Cool. Fizz particles. Green fizz. Ooh, we're gonna change the wand to LED color. That's fun, we haven't done that yet. So we'll change that to be green. Okay, let's check it. Check it out. Um, let's do this one. So the light turned green. I don't know if you can see that. So that's exciting. Do we make any sparks? I didn't see any sparks. No spark. Oh no, I see some sparks. Some very small sparks. So that's exciting. Okay. What else what else can we do? Let's make some can we do better than that? Why not code some red sparks too? Yeah, why not? Uh, drag this block onto your code space. Where do we put this one? We're just making doubles? Are we connecting these? Change up to down. Oh, I like this. I like where this is going. That's right, because we've got four directions to work with, right? So let's make green sparks when we go up, red sparks when we go down. Change the wand LED color to uh, this orange color. Okay, let's try it out. So, when we go up, we get a red color. When we go down, we get a. We should get a green color, unless it's telling me that the batteries are dead. Well, it's working on the screen. You can see it's alternating between uh, red and green. But the, oh yeah, okay, the LED just changed. So when I flick up, look on the overhead camera, you see a green LED. 
And then when I flick down, you get a red one. So that's pretty cool. Ah! Okay. I'll stop. Okay, cool. What else we got? What else do we have? Continue. Avatar accessory, loot box. Oh god, it's the spider. No, I don't. I'm good. Thank you. Hey, we just unlocked some more stuff. I can see a new location opened up over here at the Hogshead. Also, can we just talk about how these little um, orange circles with the orange stars look like Dragon Balls? Like, from the Dragon Ball Z TV show? Also, there's some really weird action with the mouse. I don't know what's up with that. Makes it hard to steer. All right, what do we want to do? Fill the carriage with chocolate frogs. That's an option. What's going on at Diagonelli? Oh, create fireworks with brilliant colors. That's kind of like what we just did. But, uh, what do you think? Let's try it. What are we doing? Use particles to set off fireworks. Oh, you gotta see what I'm looking at. Use particles to set off fireworks with the coating wand. Well, that sounds fun. Use this block. All right, so uh, naturally, this is where we always start. Ooh, we're gonna change, change it from up to left. Okay. This block creates an explosion of particles. Drag it onto your code space. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Okay. Let's move this so we can read it a little bit better. Change 400 to 200. Well, that's going to make it smaller. All right, let's get some yellow. Cool. Wand LED. I want that to be yellow. And Ooh, wand rumble. Yeah, that's fun. It's like a Nintendo Switch controller. Okay, wave your coding wand to set off the, the thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, gotta center it, and here we go. Oh wait, no, that's right, we're going left this time. Ooh, and I felt it shake. You might even be able to hear that. I'll go over the microphone. You hear that? Okay, uh, and then the LED, when I go left, I, don't know, I, <laughs> I can't multitask. Okay, I think we're doing it. I think we are doing it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy doing that so much. Uh, did we get any good fireworks when we did that? Yeah, they're okay. What happens if we change those back? Because they're originally supposed to be 400. I want big fireworks, right? Like, nobody wants little fireworks. Sorry, here we go. This is a little better. Little, little better. Strength, 10, about 50. Change this to uh, 600. Dial everything up. What happens? Boom. That's kind of out of control. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. That's fun, right? All right, hit next. Oh, we're gonna add more. Okay. So we want a left end and we want a right. Okay. Different color, I'm assuming, right? So what's this gonna be? 400, change 400 to 600. Okay, change the color to red. All right, that's kind of a, okay. Yeah, let's go. They wanted like a magenta, so let's do that. That's yeah, like a pink. Wand LED color to be the same. Yeah, and then give me a rumble. Uh, okay. Let's try it. 
Okay, recenter, and then left, and right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yep, basically pros, uh, super wizards, look out Dumbledore. Okay, got a fireworks medal. I mean, no big deal, whatever. Okay, where can we go now? We should probably wrap it up here pretty soon, but uh, but I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, all right, we gotta go back to the main map. Oh my gosh, Quidditch. Multicolored fireworks. All right, all right, enough with the fireworks. What else you got? We got something over here at Hogwarts. What's this one? Oh, this is the one. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what I assumed you would start with. Okay, you ready? You'll use the Wingardium Leviosa spell motion to activate. All right, here we go. Uh, when the app starts, object, feather. Oh, so, okay, we're telling it, like, as soon as you begin, I want you to conjure a feather so that owl is going to go away. And we're going to get a feather in its place. There we go. Okay. Now, when you do a spell motion, and that spell motion should be Wingardium Leviosa. Not Leviosa. See, it's a swish and a flick. Okay. Uh, then, what's this going to do? Pin to freeze. Interesting. Okay. Uh, change seconds to milliseconds. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, physics. Object set position of all to 400 by 300. Those are coordinates on the screen. Wand position. Oh, so you want to set this, the position of the object should equal the wand position. X and the wand position Y, which is look, right here, wand position X and Y. So when we cast the spell, the, the, um, the feather will be bound to the wand, and if I move the wand, the feather will, will move, and you know. So that's, I think, what's happening here. That's what we're coding. That's what we're setting up to happen. We still have a few more variables to code for here. Physics, object set angle of. Um, open the wand tray. Wand rotation pitch. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I see where we're going. And we're gonna change from, we're actually gonna change pitch to roll. Hold down the button on your coding wand and perform the Wingardium Leviosa movement. Then release the button to activate the code. Oh, this is gonna be cool, guys. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna recenter the wand. And then the uh, spell is uh, swish and flick, okay. Then when I let go, I should be able to lift the wand up. No? Ah, oh, it didn't work. Hold down the button on your coding wand and perform the thing, then release the button and activate the code. I might not have re released it quick enough, so let's try again. Yep. Not getting it. Uh, 
I can't do it. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. All right. All right. Let me try broader, broader movements here. I feel like I had half of it there. No? Okay. Can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I had it. You saw it. It started moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. I don't know how I did it, but now check out the feather. So as I move, it follows the feather. And if I rotate, rotate the wand, it rotates the feather. Pretty cool. I still don't understand. So if I press the button, then, oh no. I still don't understand how I did Wingardium Leviosa though. I, that was, I feel like Ron Weasley from the hit movie Harry Potter. All right, let's move on. I should get a big reward for that one. I didn't get a reward. Oh, did I? I don't know. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to wrap it up here in a minute. Uh, how are we doing on time? Yeah, we're, we're coming up on the end. Should we do, like, try to find one more interesting challenge to do? Something, something that we haven't really done yet? I said a lot of fireworks. Fireworks are always fun, but um, looking for something. Like the... Something like the Wingardium Leviosa thing where you get to do an actual spell. What's this? Immobilize the bludger. Okay. We'll do this will be our last one. Then we'll wrap it up. This seems cool. Okay, use code figure out how to stop the flying bludger. Okay, so you can see behind my picture here the bludger is just going nuts. I'm not doing that. It's just uh, doing it on its own. So, we need to, oh, so I'm on my own now. All right. So I have to code, I have to tell it what to do. Well, that's super intimidating. All right, hang on, let's take a look here. We got a spell uh, that might help us immobilize this thing. Like, uh, maybe locomotor. I mean, Incendio would probably do it. Um, I think that's probably the way to go. Maybe locomotor. And I bet you I could do that motion. You go up and then down and then up. Or like that. Yeah. Okay. We'll try that. We'll give it a shot. So, in this drop down menu, we're going to choose. Um, Locomotor. Here it is. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I, I okay. No, um, I wasn't done. I just pressed the button wrong. <laughs> okay, so now I think we need to do. No, we don't want logic. We want control. Wand. Oh. Okay, objects. Here we go. It's got to be objects, right? We want to, like, pin? Let's try that. How about freeze? The rogue bludger. I think that should work. I might need to add more in there about like the, um, but let's try it. Let's just see how far we get. I feel like that's like a you didn't do it right noise. Oh, it worked! 
Ha! Look at that, he's frozen. Gotcha! I'm a genius. Okay. Give me accessories. Huh, I got a record player. Old Victrola. That's cool. Okay. Well, that's really cool. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna stop it there. But, uh, okay. Alright, Harry Potter. That's... We're good. Exit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right there, but I think that's really cool. So um, so yeah, this is the the Harry Potter. Um, just turn that back over here. The Harry Potter coding kit. So this will be added to the collection pretty soon. You'll be able to check this out and um, get this with your library card. Check it out with one of the laptops, or, or you can use it on your tablet or your computer at home. Um, so you don't have to have the laptop, but if you need it, we've got plenty of those laptops for you, PNG laptops. Um, so yeah, check that out. We'll wrap it up for this time, but tune in next time and we will open up the last one in the uh, group that we bought this, um, uh, what do they call this? This is the uh, LED, it's an LED panel, handheld, and uh, pixel kit. It's called the pixel kit. and. Um, so we'll get in there. That This seems pretty advanced. So there it seems like a, there's a, a whole lot of stuff that you can do um, with that. So um, I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank the State Library of Illinois uh, for providing the PNG grant um, that we take advantage of and the Elmwood Park Public Library for making it happen, giving us a, a place to, to do all this kind of stuff. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Um, Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay, my name <laughs> has been Aaron Sievers. I have been and continue to shall ever be the technology librarian here at the Elmwood Park Public Library. Thanks for watching. We will catch you again next time.